I hope you're doing really well. This is GTGD, and this is a, a new project I'm working on. It's going to be a new tutorial series when I'm done. I'm not far away from completion. And it's about using Unity 2D and the Unity 2D tile map. And uh, I'll say it'll replace GTGDS2. So my old GTGDS2 uh, that I have on Steam as well, it'll be on YouTube as well. It'll replace this. This thing I was in over done in 2014 and is terribly out of date. And I want to produce a new, better tutorial series. That's it's a diff completely different topic. Um, and I just want to replace. I don't want to have something so old out there. Uh, and I and I want to share the, all the things that I've been learning as well about Unity 2D. I've got heaps more to learn, but the, what I've learned so far is super impressive. I'm really impressed with uh, the Unity 2D tools. Uh, it's really quite amazing what you can do with it. And that's what I'm hoping to show as well. Just a bit of it. Why don't I run uh, this little project that I've got here? And what it is, it's about uh, using the Unity tile map and, you know, being able to uh, build and construct on it and, um, you know, save that information and use the nav mesh uh, dynamically. So, well, for example, I can go ahead and erase stuff here. Uh, and then I can just build what I want as well. So why don't I extend this part? Uh, just move over here, start extending away and uh, let's go over here and as you can see it's just it's the nav mesh is rebuilding so that's all closed off for me now so I can't uh, go there uh, we'll go through that space and uh, just build all of that and why don't I just select a door could have done that could put some windows and of course uh, flooring etc anyway you get the idea so that's that's what I want to show how you can actually use the 2d uh, Unity 2D tools and dynamically, uh, I guess, change your tile map at runtime. And of course, with the nav mesh, this was this is really hard to do with the 3D tools. Uh, you, the nav mesh, I don't know about right now, but previously, yeah, you couldn't rebuild like that, so it just wasn't like that. And I'll sh it also share a bit about sorting orders and stuff like that as well and a little bit about this uh, basic sort of pixel art that I've drawn as you know as you can tell I'm no artist whatsoever so I've gone for a really old style sort of uh, Ultima sort of uh, look sort of like that you know a bit modernized but that's what I've kind of gone for anyway that's the save button so for example if I just stop playing and I just hit play uh, it'll just all load up there and uh, reposition the player whatever so there you can see so that's the proof of concept and that's it so uh it'll be a i think a pretty good tutorial series i'll take my time as i go through it as well i won't rush through the code there's not too much code you'll be quite amazed that um to know that there's actually not a lot of code required to do what you see what uh, here on the screen, uh, what I just showed, uh, it's, it really is very impressive, the uh, new Unity 2D tools and the extent by which Unity has improved them, because I used it when it was a, a beta back in 2016, and back then you couldn't do this at all, any of what I just showed you, you couldn't do any of that, you couldn't dynamically play styles and stuff like that uh, in this way at all, and so they have just advanced the tool set so much that uh, you can basically make any sort of 2D game at all, I think I just... I think it's just my own imagination will run run out in what I can actually do with this. So uh, anyway, I'd love to hear your feedback and what ideas, what you think you could do with these uh, Unity 2D tools as well. Like, uh, what do you want to, it's very easy and it's very easy to do like a growing system and stuff with the tiles. Like you can put uh, stage one plant or whatever and then uh, with time it'll change oh by the way I forgot to mention I have a day and night system going as well I just haven't made the UI with the time so if I just um, reduce that I'll also show how to use light as well in the 2d system so I just made here a simple time uh, manager here and I use a gradient to change the color of the light uh, with time so for example I just set this back to midnight which is zero uh, and then just put that to there yeah there you go uh, so now it's counting again you can see that the whole uh, scene has darkened as if it was night it's just using the gradient color uh, to color that and for example if I change it to like 400 I think it's about morning yeah this morning so it's a more of a yellow yellowish hue there to it and then as that time 
you know, changes uh, that'll all change in color. And so it's really, really simple, a nice, simple code too. Yeah, very easy to save that information, load that information, etc. Uh, so yeah, it, it won't be too long now. I think uh, definitely I would hope that by September I have the full series done. So it'll be on Steam, it'll be on YouTube. But my objective is try and do that uh, faster because that's it if you know basically what i want to do is whatever i teach you uh, in this series whatever i show to you anyway it's not teach you you a lot of you already know this stuff but whatever i show you the ideas etc it's to you'll be able to expand on that massively so i'm trying to build up like these core concepts you could say and from there you can just easily expand and add on and add on and build your own game so i do have an idea of what game i want to make uh using this sort of uh, setup and very simple code and systems so uh yeah i'll get to that um that's my objective to develop uh the series and i hope to be sharing that with you in the near future uh, any feedbacks thoughts comments yeah just put them down below and uh oh yeah don't forget to i guess uh you know the usual uh, youtube thing uh subscribe uh, what is it like and hit the bell icon <laughs> as well and share as well uh but anyway thank you very much for watching and uh i guess i will have something to share i hope in the nearish future uh and i'll yeah talk to you then okay bye